And we begin with that breaking news at 5.30. Major developments in the investigation of former Subway spokesperson Jared Fogle. Stunning developments coming in on Fogle and a criminal case against him. Call 6 Investigates' Rafael Sanchez is live in the newsroom. Rafael. Eric and Todd, good afternoon. This is a story that we've been working on. Call 6 Investigates has been working on since last night. We can now confirm that Jared Fogle is making a plea deal with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Indianapolis in connection to that ongoing child pornography and possession investigation. Now, the terms of the deal have not been released. The U.S. Attorney, when I call the office, tells me that they do not comment on ongoing cases or investigations. Fogel, of course, best known as the pitch man for the Subway Restaurant's franchise, they've cut off relations with Fogel since this controversy surfaced. You may recall that Jared Fogel's home was raided last month. It was a big operation that saw the removal of computer equipment from the Fogel home in Zionsville in Boone County. Authorities even used a special dog that sniffs out electronics to help in that search. The raid came after the arrest of Fogel's former employee, Russell Taylor. Taylor oversaw his foundation, which promoted anti-obesity programs around the country. Taylor is in custody for producing and disseminating child pornography. Now, through this entire investigation, Fogel, through his lawyer, has maintained that he would cooperate with authorities. Fogel himself has not spoken about the situation since it surfaced. It is possible that Fogel could make a court appearance in federal court in downtown Indianapolis as early as tomorrow morning. Live in the newsroom, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.